For more than two decades, the French justice system has investigated the incident that killed the former Rwandan president. But officials at Ibuka, the umbrella organization that advocates for the rights of genocide survivors, have noted that political interests have always interfered with the process. France's judicial system was never independent on this matter, and it was all tied to France's policies, and the fact that different French officials supported those who prepared and implemented the genocide. We now hope that the justice will be impartial, and that the decision that will be taken on Friday will now be based on the independence of that judiciary. Come Friday, the findings of the investigation will finally be announced and rights groups in France say it is the responsibility of everyone in ensuring that the truth is finally revealed. Hello, I'm Martin David from the French NGO Survey. Uh, What we expect uh, in the decisions that will be made official on the 3rd of July in the investigation on the bombing of the plane carrying President Abiyarimana on the 6th of April 1994 uh, is a partial no case to answer, uh, meaning that uh, there is on one end uh, the final uh, non-guilt of the PRF in the, the bombing that will be recognized, and on the other end that uh, the investigation is reopened to explore the lead uh, that have been endured until now, especially the leads uh, that uh, would uh, show who are the sponsor of uh, this bombing, uh, which could lead to uh, Hutu extremists, and also who are the executant of the bombing. Are there uh, mercenaries uh, appointed by France? Are there French militaries? So this is what, uh, what we would like to see on the 3rd of July. Ibuka's president, however, points out that investigations and reports issued by Rwanda on the incident have not been given their deserved value. Especially Mutsinzi's commission that clearly showed that the people who shot down that plane were in the Kanumbe area, and we all know that Habyarimana soldiers were based there. Therefore, we expect that any findings would be in line with that. The fact that the investigation itself took so long says volumes. Um, of course, we, we don't understand why uh, this investigation uh, had taken so long, like 28 years after, uh, after the bombing occurred and uh, more than 22 years after the beginning of the investigation. Uh, Of course, there have been uh, a lot of political influence in uh, this investigation and also uh, also some manipulation uh, which led uh, the investigation to go in one direction and not others. And uh, and we we believe that uh, the direction of the investigation uh, have led uh, to uh, positions that uh, will uh, protect the interest of the French state and uh, which is not in the favor of the establishment of the truth. Yes, we believe that uh, the decisions that will be taken on July the 3rd uh, in the French Court of Justice will have consequences on the memory of the Tutsi genocide of 1994 uh, because uh, of course the memory and the mourning of uh, the death uh, of this genocide can be based only on the truth. And if uh, the truth is not established and it remains some uh, blurry area in the, in the responsibilities in this, uh, in this attack, it will be of course in favor of the Tutsi genocide deniers that have uh, even nowadays a strong influence, especially in, Re- in Democratic Republic of Congo, where there are some uh, obvious calls to exterminate the Tutsi uh, and they are based on the genocide denial theories. Also, we believe that uh, it will have strong consequences on the diplomatic relationship between uh, France and Rwanda because it seems to us that it is in the interest uh, of both parties that uh, this investigation goes no further uh, neither uh, to incriminate uh, the possible French complicity 
and neither to investigate the lead that we believe is not realist at all of the guilt of the PRF. Uh, and uh, it's a shame, but uh, we believe that uh, the establishment of the truth will not be the priority and a peaceful diplomatic relationship between the two countries uh, may be the priority instead of establishing the truth. There is also the matter of Rwandan French bilateral relations moving forward. They have been significantly improving ever since President Macron took office, very different from the way things were. Obviously, all that does not depend solely on him or I, because the broader policies of both nations should also be taken into account and they do play a role. However, the political will to improve relations exists on both sides and it did not happen by accident because French-Africa relations have also been improving. As for Rwanda's perspective on the matter, therefore, we believe this is a new phase in relations with France, nothing like the way it used to be before. There have been revisions and things are getting much better, and I believe we are moving on from the past. The dossier on the downing of former President Juvenal Habjarimana's plane was revived by three French judges in December 2017, 